Now, Gauteng officials are visiting families of victims and survivors of gender-based violence during Women's Month. They'll be in Togoza, Katlehong, Zonki Zizwe, Eden Park and Dawn Park, all east of Johannesburg. These visits are not just to sympathize with families, but to update them on the cases involving their loved ones. The visits will end with a candlelight ceremony in honor of women who've died. Our reporter Tsehua Jomoachi is in Togoza Egurleni following the story for us. Now, Tsehua um, rather, what will be happening exactly today? What's the program of the day? I see that there's a lot of families that are expected to be visited. Absolutely, Masiko. So today the plan is for those from the Department of Community Safety here in Ekuruleni. Um, they will be going through with some police members to um, the families of the victims um, of gender-based violence. Um, and the main thing is really just to update them, as you've mentioned, on cases, police cases that they've opened. Um, and also just to be there and tell them that although it may seem like nothing is being done, they are actually busy with these cases at the moment. So that is the plan for today, Masiko. We expect it to start any time from now. At the moment, the HOD of Community Safety is receiving a briefing from the police, and then from there we'll head out to the various families. Now, um, like I was saying, Tsukho, um, the list is quite long of the areas that you'll be visiting along mm. the East Rand today. How many families are expected to be visited today by, by um, the department? Well, Masiko, we are expecting about six families to be visited today with various cases that have been opened. I mean, we've got a family that um, has got a charge of murder, so um, the victim was stabbed by six men within the same place of residence as her. Um, we also have another one of domestic violence. The victim apparently reported to have been in an abusive relationship with her then-boyfriend um, since 2015, and this is a case of 2020. There's a case here, Masiko, that goes all the way through to 2019 and this was a contravention of a protection order. So the victim, a 28-year-old female, is currently living with her child um, in the, in, um, and the, she reported that she had been in an abusive relationship with her then-boyfriend and he then um, did not stick to the protection order. And then in Fosleris, there's also one of pointing of a firearm, malicious damage to property and contravention of a protection order. So there are various cases, Masiko, that um, they will be going through today to ensure that they just remind them that, um, especially with things like the protection order to remind them that they need to report if the person actually does not um, adhere to this protection order and also just to tell those of the, the people that have actually died victims of um, those of the families of victims that have died from um, gender-based violence and at the hands of potentially their partners um, they're this they're then going to tell them that they should not worry they should not stress about the case it will definitely be solved and I think that's the message that EMPD in this particular area, of course, the Ekuruleni Metro Police Department, that is the message that they're going to try and drive through together with South African Police Department to ensure that people know that even if you report a case, it will be dealt with, um, and they are going to ensure that they know that the cases will be resolved. Well, thank you very much, Sikhoa Jomoachi, coming to us live there from the East Rand.